middle school is full of growing pains. Yes. <laughs> Joy Lim in college went through it, and now she's watching her 12-year-old sister go through it too. We sit across the dining table every, every day, and we listen in on each other's classes. Her little sister attends virtual classes at Blaylock Middle School at Carrollton Farmers Branch Independent School District. On Tuesday, during a social studies class, I looked over my sister's shoulder, and I saw this question that just blew me away. A multiple choice question on a test. Which one of these Chinese norms is true? Filled with stereotypes. A, it is normal in China to cut off someone's lips if they burp in a restaurant. And racism. B, it is normal in parts of China to give children 50 lashes by a cane if they steal a piece of candy. Joy quickly took a photo of it. C, it is normal in parts of China to eat cats and dogs. Her sister was uncomfortable answering the question. I, I don't understand. Who thought this was okay? Joy says she reached out to the district, then put it on Twitter. If these teachers were Asian American teachers, they, that question would not have been on the quiz. On Wednesday, Carrollton Farmers Branch ISD released a statement and video. Three employees used an inaccurate depiction about Asian Americans on a middle school social studies test. The words used for the question were inappropriate. Those three teachers are on paid administrative leave while it's under investigation. It can happen in Carrollton. With the rise in hate against Asians in America during the COVID-19 pandemic. In the midst of all this anger and hurt. Joy didn't want her sister to experience discrimination, especially not from her teachers at school. Nothing about it was funny. She hopes this is a lesson teaching her sister to speak up and speak out as she guides her through these growing pains. I'm just glad that I was home to catch that. In Carrollton, I'm Tiffany Liu.